Bella with Bella and the Phoenix. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is your rating. <laughs> As you can see, I already pulled the cards. I'm trying to cut down on time, but maybe I have too many cards for each of these readings, but I'm trying to make it shorter than 30 minutes, but we'll see, okay? <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as for the Cross Watcher, if you're watching this. But we'll go ahead and start looking at the tarot first, and then the oracle cards, and then we'll go from there, okay? I'm going to set this off to the side and give some wiggle room here for the cards. Okay. First card out here, we have the Three of Cups. So you could be getting together with friends. You could be celebrating birthdays, weddings, baby showers. Especially right now in the fall season, a lot of people are getting together. It gives me that energy. Um, you could also be dealing with a third party. We'll see how the cards come out. Um, before I clarify, I'm just going to pull all the tarot cards. Uh, we have the Five of Cups here. Okay, so definitely some regret energy going on here. You're feeling... Um, really disappointed that things didn't go as planned is what I'm getting. Um, things that were outside of your control, really. And so there's no use to really just stay in that energy, right? Because you can only control you, right? Not other people or events. So we'll see what that's about. And we have the Eight of Cups. So you're headed towards your Nine of Cups, I'm getting. You know, especially if this, this is a third party situation, I feel like you're, you know that you deserve better and you're headed towards your wish fulfillment here because I feel like these eight cups, you know, were not enough to keep you going and it just kept you in disappointment. Depressed energy. Oh, we have the page of cups. Interesting. So it's interesting because I'm getting here that as soon as you walk away, somebody's going to come in like, wait, don't leave. <laughs> you know? It reminds me of that movie Serendipity. I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but um, it's funny because in that movie, they kept getting signs about the other person. And it was getting down to the wire because one of them was about to get married. And yeah, they were... They were holding off on trying to find the other person until it was getting down to the wire where it, the date was getting closer and this person was like, I got to find them. You know, like they went on a, on a hunt throughout the city to try to find this person. <laughs> so, and it's interesting because in that movie, I'm not trying to give the whole movie away, but something happened that was unexpected and it was the universe steering that person back to, you know, the other person that they're meant to be with. So, and it came out of nowhere, right? So I feel like that's the same energy that as soon as you let go and like accept things for how it is, your the universe is going to give you a little gem of like, hey, cancer, like here's a little communication to give you a little bit of hope that, not all is lost here, okay? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Swords, yeah. So this was like a lost battle, okay? A lot of ego that was involved. A lot of conflict with people. And I feel like you got to a point where you knew that you deserved more than what you were settling for. And as soon as you walk away, this person comes in. This is also Aries reading. I don't know if you have Aries in your chart, but um, it gives me that kind of vibe too. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. Take it how it resonates. This reading is general, but 
you know, that's why a personal reading would be good to go ahead and do because that way you can, we can really look into your particular situation and, um, you know, my readings are very powerful, okay? I'm not trying to like, you know, what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> to my own horn here okay but I am gifted and I have tons of reviews on Instagram if you like to take a look um, because my readings are not only powerful but they're also very accurate so but this is a general reading so it's going to be all over the place because so many people so many of you are tapping in and definitely give my video a thumbs up um, that way it connects your energy to my video it also helps get visibility to this channel and if you like it definitely share it and comment below let me know what you think so far okay all right so let's get down to it why is the three of cups here spirit we got secrets love affair keeping things inside not opening up illusion so yeah definitely a third party like i said earlier so i feel like for some of you um this has been a very emotional love affair it could even be where there's no physical um interaction it's just all an emotional love affair doesn't have to be but i just get here that you know you've gotten to a point where there's no getting through because this person's not opening up, right? So because of that, that's why you feel like this is a lost battle, right? Like this is pointless and nothing's going as planned because this person's not able to open up to you. Yeah, they're in this lone wolf energy. The path I walk alone, okay? Sometimes people don't like to open up because they don't want to be a burden is what I'm getting and this this could be this lone wolf that's their energy where they don't want to you know bog you know bog you down you know with their burdens especially because cancer you're very nurturing and um I feel like this person knows that you're gonna try to um make it all right for them you know what I mean and and they don't want to do that they want to go off on their own they have to figure this out on their own and not be enabled take it how it resonates but these popped out together garden and unconditional love the, the celtic knot the celtic knot i don't know how to pronounce that but <laughs> um i feel like you know this is somebody that you dated and, and i did talk about events earlier um and you know you could have run into this person at a party or maybe you're about to run into them here in the Halloween party coming up. You know, this could even run into the first week of November, Scorpio season. And, you know, we have Thanksgiving coming up too. So, or, you know, if you're in Canada, you guys just celebrated Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> take it how it resonates. But I feel like, you know, you could have run into this person Maybe you saw them with their third party that they're with. But it's almost like you had this pull towards this person. You know that this is your unconditional love, your divine union, your divine counterpart. And then we have Ladybug. A vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, wishes are coming true. Birth of a daughter. So I feel like for you, Cancer... This is what you were hoping that you could accomplish and celebrate with this person. But because it's right next to the Five of Cups, it didn't go as planned. You know, it didn't go that way. Yeah, again, love affair, again, forbidden. Temptations, flirting, giving into pleasure. I almost get here that you feel guilty for um, involving yourself in this love affair. Maybe if that's not the situation, I feel like um, maybe somebody confessed to you that you're dealing with, that they had a love affair with somebody. They gave into temptation. Um, let's see what else comes out to clarify. Yeah, walking away, moving forward, okay? So, Cancer, <laughs> I feel like somebody that you were dealing with walked away and and I feel like this is that energy where you're feeling like depressed, disappointed, defeated that 
this love affair didn't go as planned. It's like you had high hopes for this connection to go places. And instead, you both have to walk away from each other and move forward in a different direction. Okay. Yeah, so you have the Queen of Cups here. That's you. That's your energy. And you have Stork. Transformation, change, active, renew, restless, arrive, depart, renovate, move, pregnancy, birth. For some of you, um, this person could have told you that they're moving away to a different city, different town, right? Different country. Um, or I feel like you had to move away from this person. Maybe not physically, but it could have been energetically that you had to walk away from this person because you know that it, there's a blockage here that's blocking you guys from being together. Like it's not time yet because these stores don't have eggs yet. You know, they're barely setting up their nest. And so it's not time yet to go towards that six of cups because that's essentially the cup after the five of cups, right? And then we have the squirrel at the bottom of the deck is you know again it's a secretive here so it's almost like you had to walk away from this person and maybe you kept it from them you didn't tell them that you're walking away you just decided to do it um and this could also be because it says secretive it could be that somebody had a pregnancy and didn't tell you about it and so now they told you that they got somebody pregnant and that's why it's forbidden now. Like now there's this blockage in the way where you're not able to build your nest with this person because they built a nest somewhere else. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't mean to laugh. Okay, Cancer. Um, but it's just kind of like insane how we end up in these situations and it's like, how is this my life? Because this is not what I had hoped. This is not what I had planned. And now I have this love and I have no way of like giving it to anybody. I have to move forward. I have to be a lone wolf and like keep going. And that's hard, you know, but I get here with the eight of cups here. It's like spirits letting you know it is hard, but guess what? You're going to be able to find your happiness. Okay. Because only you can do that for yourself. It says here, focused on just you. Observing you, watching you, there's no one like you. So while you're walking away, Spirit wants you to know that this person is still watching you online or in person. Take it how it resonates. And there's no one like you because you are their wish fulfillment. You know what I mean? So even though you guys have to walk away, this person knows that you know, you're walking away with their heart because you have their heart. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, happy times. It's like you're taking the happy times with you. Um, the future is bright. And I feel like that's very wanting you to be optimistic. You know what I mean? Like this is just going to be a delay, okay? Because you have a communication coming in here. And you don't see that. We started off the reading kind of like somber energy. But it's starting to get happier. Even though the overall energy is the five of swords. Five is for change. And fives are also not going to be an energy that's going to stay like that forever. They're only temporary energies. Um, so let's see. Happy times. Wow, look at that. Fireworks, passion, chemistry, lust, kissing, exhilaration, holiday celebration, explosive hot sex. You know, it's interesting because when I was shuffling your deck um, before I started recording, I kept singing this Lady Gaga song. Um love game um so look that up because the lyrics could be significant but i just kept hearing her say i want to kiss you <laughs> um and let's play a love game do you want love or do you want fame okay so it's very interesting because i'm getting here cancer that you wanted this person to love you but it's almost like they were torn between playing this game of going towards true love or going towards what would give them temporary attention, you know, like temporary fame. But anyway, um, that could be like another, you know, reading for another person out there. It's not going to resonate for everybody. But all, all that to say, I feel like um, 
this your person feels like you're taking the happy times with you maybe you guys spent holidays together and they're thinking back on those memories and they want to reconcile with you with the judgment here uh the phoenix <laughs> Wow, maybe you live in Phoenix, Arizona, doesn't have to be. Maybe um, you are drawn to the Phoenix. Maybe you have um, maybe you have a Scorpio in your chart, Cancer. I know I'm a Cancer rising, so very interesting. So I also get here that while you're walking away, something is going to be revealed here and it's going to come right on time because you're due for this judgment, this renewal, that's gonna shift the energy from destruction to creation, you know, an awakening. I kept hearing awakening when I was shuffling your cards. So that's very interesting, Cancer, because I feel like some of you are gonna have it where your person's gonna awaken, you know. So let's see, what do they want to say with this page of cups? Wow, single. <laughs> independent freedom from attachment available today okay so right when you walk away it's almost like this person finally gets their act together they cut up their you know conflicts contracts they they wrap everything up and they're freeing themselves to be available to date you very interesting yeah because they feel unhappy being without you they feel sad they don't even try to hide it because this guy's hiding behind a sad little mask <laughs> so yeah cancer this person wants to message you and they might tell you like i miss you i feel sad without you um don't go you know what i mean like i'm sorry that i you know got us in this predicament but Let's just see. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. But the wheel's going to turn. And this is at the bottom of the deck um, underneath the wheel is the raccoon. Okay, so somebody's going to come out of the woodwork and, you know, they're going to be trying to solve this problem. And the wheel's turning in y'all's favor. I love it. So let's see. Let's pull this deck here. Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirit? Weighing the options, assessing risks, okay? That's exactly what it is. This person's thinking about change. They're thinking about tackling this situation. Bottom of the deck here is not speaking. So I feel like while you guys are not speaking, right, this person's trying to come up with a way to weigh the pros and cons, okay? Yeah, because this person is trying to decide, could I honestly leave this behind and keep, you know, no contact with you? Or do I just go towards my person and risk it? Yeah, and reveal the truth that I have feelings for this person and shed some light in this situation. This is like the total opposite energies. Yeah, and it's almost like they need time to be able to weigh the options here. Okay, because it is a gamble, especially if they have a family situation going on. But yeah, very interesting. So let me pull the fighter. This is like um, my archetypes. A deck so just to see what spirit advice is like what energy you need to be in or what um spirit wants to say to get you out of you know from point a to point b and spirit wants you to fight it says here a falling out disagreement or conflict will arise that will tempt you to defend yourself avoid being drawn in oh and i can totally relate to that <laughs> this could even be like family members trying to um you know, instill fear into you about their own fears. They're, sometimes people, when they come out with, you know, 
their drama or what have you is because they're projecting their fears onto you. So while you might know that you have this connection with somebody, um, you might be dealing with somebody who maybe they were cheated on and you're not the best person to, you know, interact with this person because you guys are at odds. This person has been cheated on. So you having an affair or what have you is making this person feel like you're doing what this person did to me and you need to just stop fighting um, this, you know, separation and just leave that person alone because they're having a baby or whatever situation is, you know what I mean? So, and you're going to be so tempted to tell that person, you know, to set the record straight and give them a piece of your mind. But Spirit is saying avoid being drawn in because nothing's going to, come out of that because that person has their own point of view because of what happened to them so they can't be objective you know what I mean they can't remove themselves from the equation when they look into your situation so spirit is saying keep it to yourself <laughs> right what you're going through keep it to yourself sometimes secrets are being kept hidden from you move in silence and observe your surroundings at this time okay and that's interesting because I mentioned this earlier where this person feels like they have to mask that they're sad, but they might go ahead and tell you that they miss you, that they've um, been feeling sad without you. And it's almost like spirit also wants you to not um, tell them the same thing because maybe that's what they want to hear. But just, you know, be more uh, reserved and don't, you know, give anything away that you don't need to. And keep some things and feelings to yourself until it's the right time for you to reveal it. That's why the wheel is here. Until the forces of the, of the universe move the pieces to where something comes to light. Like in that movie, uh, Serendipity, the guy, I don't know what his, um, I think his character's name is Jonathan. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Jonathan. <laughs> But he was really trying to find this girl, right? And he finally gave up and surrendered to the universe. And in the nick of time, the universe gave him, uh, you know, a little breadcrumb, so to speak, because his own fiance that he was marrying gave him this book that had that girl's phone number in it. And it's insane because... <laughs> It's like the universe has a, a funny sense of humor because you wouldn't expect the universe to do that, but that's what it did. And sorry if that spoils it for some of you guys, if you want to watch that movie, but all that to say, I feel like, you know, for this situation, cancer, you don't need to lay your cards out on the table, you know? I mean, I know I'm laying mine out on the table, but it's for your reading. <laughs> but all that to say, um, just to get to my point here, is to don't reveal everything. Keep some things to yourself, kind of like the high priestess. Because you want to make sure that when you do reveal what needs to be said and done, it's going to be where it's necessary you know what I mean like you don't want to be just throwing breadcrumbs to people that don't deserve it it's kind of like that saying you don't give pearls to pigs right because they're not going to appreciate it you know be a boss lady okay bottom of the deck possible promotion on the horizon climbing the corporate ladder and gaining the respect of others okay you're becoming the empress okay so i feel like while you're going through this lone wolf you know i walk alone energy you might just start focusing on your job right your career um but let's just see what else is coming forward for october for you we have high honor imprisonment the bottom of the deck I feel like you're going to finally do what's right for you and free yourself, you know? But be careful about who you tell your business to because this is a mouse here. <laughs> um, and just focus on you, right? On your path, like where you're headed. And eventually your person, you know, they're going to get their life together and 
come send you like a little message because we have a page of cups here. Yeah. So just focus on your journey. Keep moving forward. And uh, before you know it, the universe is going to turn things in your favor. And you don't even have to do anything. You just enjoy the journey. I love it. Okay, so let's get some cards here to wrap up. So it says here, your commitment is being tested. I love it. And that's true because I feel like this situation that you've been through has taught you a lot. It has taught you to be more discerning about who to trust, you know, how to handle yourself with, you know, your person, what to do, what not to do. Giving your person space to figure things out, even when your emotions are running high, okay? Because you are the Queen of Cups, okay? <laughs> so it has taught you how to be able to handle your emotions better through, you know, hardships, through that Five of Cups energy that we saw, through disappointment, through depressive energy, right? Through feeling defeated. But not all is lost, okay? That's what spirit wants you to know. Not all is lost. You have things coming to you. You just have to work through your fears, right? New moon and Scorpio. And we have Scorpio season coming up, right? So this could extend all the way till middle of November for you. Where you're going to be working through your fears and detaching yourself from any outcomes because... The reason why I said this in my reading is before why people feel pain is because they're not accepting something. And as soon as you accept something, a situation, whatever has happened, that it's outside of your control, that's when things are going to turn around, right? Once you surrender to the divine, exactly. Spirit is backing me up. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> my voice is giving out. I'm like so tired. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, cancer, I will say there's a lot of purple here. So I feel like your crown chakra is going to receive all these downloads. Um, number seven is going to be very significant for you. Especially if you were born in July. Um, that's for some of you, not all of you. But I get here that, you know, things are coming to a head and like, Everything is harvesting here with the full moon. The eclipse is coming up. And I'm getting here that spirit wants you to just hang tight, right? Like don't get into a what was me type of energy. Use that energy to work through your fears, you know. Dig deep on why is it that you feel lack in anything. When you don't lack anything, you have everything available to you. Just tap into the divine. Wow. <laughs> So I hope that was helpful. Comment below and let me know if this resonated for you. And if you like to book a reading, you know what to do. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.